conferences, and we have international academic tie-ups. Today, we have a program which is slightly different from the usual academic program, because we all know that it is a very special phase for every student when from school he enters the college life, or should I say, when he steps into the most wonderful years of his life. So it is the duty of all of us that when these students enter this phase, we all make them feel comfortable and welcomed. And at the same time, we also teach them how to respect their seniors and be professional. But this is also a very sensitive time when sometimes the senior and junior relationship takes a bitter turn and is termed ragging. So here we are today with this seminar on curbing the menace of ragging. So ladies and gentlemen, before we begin this program in the Temple of Learning, let us first light the auspicious lamp. <laughs> of this university. I extend a very hearty welcome to you, sir. Our honorable chief guest, Dr. Vivek Kumar, Dr. Vivek Singh or Dr. Vivek Kumar Singh. All three names are uh, All deans, directors, heads, and professors. It will be a great opportunity for teachers as well to understand the manners of rain. I remember my old days, every teacher says the same way I would also like to narrate some stories. I joined this college of uh, medicine in 1970. Reading was rampant. It was part of the training. Used to be a lot physical which indirectly meant a lot of mental torture. And it used to end in very serious complications like at least one batch will have one psychiatric patient and at least one will leave the college. People were used to sort of training like things that should sit on a bone and don't fall. Tough exercises. But you are very fortunate when you are born in this college. This menace is almost off. And we don't permit any such thing in this campus. But still, it needs to be learned what ragging would mean. Most of us some idea like, if I do these, these acts, these are ragging. But there are many more which law covers than <coughs> under ragging, which we may not be knowing. So a nice <coughs> chance for all of us to learn about what it is, how can we stop it, and obviously this man is, needs to be written off now. With these remarks, I take my seat so that a lot of time is not wasted in formalities and we straight go to the topic. Thank you. Speakers, <coughs> Dr. Shanta Kumar, Nose, and Dr. Tarun, and of course, Dr. Radhika, for presiding over this. I really don't have much to <coughs> talk. Sabko malo mai yaha pe ki. Ragging kharaab. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes. In the end, What is the solution to this? You see, a junior is coming. Either there will be a set protocol that he comes in and he says, Mere Mahan senior, aap logo ko mein apna namashkar karta hu, apna naam bata hu. Kya kya kiya hai? 
सीनियर आर ऑलरेडी वेल सेटल्ड हियर उनकी स्पेस में कोई आ रहा है और ऐसे यहाँ घूम रहे जैसे कि वही बादशाह हम तो यहाँ से तीन चार साल से ऐसे ही There are many reasons. If you do a psychoanalysis, that why ragging is there, probably I'll just try and cover it in my slides briefly. It's not that those who rag do not know what ragging is and that it is bad. But by and large, you know, it's a form of bullying. जो फर्स्ट ईयर में होता है उसको बुरा लगता है। वही बंदा जब सेकेंड ईयर में आता है तो उसको ठीक लगता है। So the next question is, like I said, why do we do it? One, like I said, probably the seniors feel insecure. The second is that the seniors are desperate to mix with the junior people. Third, a tradition. ये तो जी हमारी खानदानी परंपरा है हम करेंगे रैगिंग आर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप इट में भी साइकोलॉजिकल सोशल इकोनॉमिकल इफ अ सीनियर आस्क जूनियर टू डू हिज वर्क और हिज जॉब दैट इज आल्सो ए रैगिंग इफ समबडी आस्क फॉर समथिंग टू बाय फॉर हिमसेल्फ देन इट इज आल्सो ए रैगिंग हाउ द कॉलेज शुड स्टॉप द रैगिंग The college should make a anti-ragging committee and anti-ragging squares. That should compromise of junior students, seniors, faculty members, and non-teaching staffs, and also the parents of the students. There should be a anti-ragging square. We should be movable and keep eye on the places such as canteen, hostels. And they may report the incident to the anti-ragging committee, which will take the further action. At the time of admission, there should be a printed advertisement in the newspaper that ragging is completely banned in our college, and appropriate action will be taken against them. When I entered the college SGD, immediate after entering, there was a board printed on the left side of the gate. कि रैगिंग इज़ कंपलीटली बैंड। आई डोंट नो वेदर यू आर प्रिंटर रिसेंटली और इट इज़। दिस इट अफेक्ट्स द हाईर एजुकेशन। रैगिंग हैज़ टू बी स्टॉप कंपलीटली। एंड द स्टूडेंट्स शुड आल्सो बी वन ऑफ़ द पनिशमेंट। अंतिम एंड अनलेस यू नो द पनिशमेंट यू वांट स्टॉप। तो आई जस्ट वांट टू � The, the seniors can be suspended from the classes or debarred from appearing in the examination. The scholarship they are getting from the government can be withheld or withdrawn from the institute. The institute may suspend them from the hostel also. And I don't know how many of you are knowing there may be fine fine from twenty five thousand to one lakh of rupees. <coughs> from my point of view, there should be a healthy interaction between the seniors and the juniors. Whatever you want to do to the junior, that should be in a healthy manner. After the admission, the college should organize a fresher party in which senior students along with the faculty members should be involved. They should give introduction from <coughs> one to one each other in the presence of the faculty members and the management itself. The college should also organize the sports activities on a larger scale so that both the seniors and juniors can participate and they have a good interaction between each other. So that they become comfortable with either each other, each other. <coughs> uh, my advice is that college should also have CCTV placed in various places so that it can be checked immediately. 
And in the beginning, two to three months, the security guards or the security person should be increased to check the tracking points. And there should also be the presence of counselors who help them to be in the, uh, the beginning of the college. Because after plus two, this is the first time most of the students are getting out from their home and leaving parents and coming to the hostel. They should be, they should get uh, complete feedback from the council. And by this, as I am not a good orator, I should thanks to all for listening to me.
जैसे फोर्स एल्कोहल का रस किसी को कंज्यूम कराना फोर्स कंसेप्शन ऑफ वायर सब्सटेंसेस और सॉल्ट बर्निंग हम कहेंगे न्यूज में आ गया ये देखो उसने इतने बुरी तरह पीटा ये रह गया हम तो इतने बुरे नहीं है बट शायद हम दूसरे फॉर्म्स ऑफ राइटिंग में इन्वॉल्व हो सकते हैं ऐसा क्यों है कि छोटे छोटे फॉर्म्स ऑफ किसी को किसी को हल्का सा तंग करना भी रैगिंग बन जाता है क्यों सब्जेक्टिव रैगिंग सब्जेक्टिव वाई बिकॉज हमारा जो विक्टिम है वो किस तरह से हमें परसीव कर रहा है किस तरह से हमें समझ रहा है हमें नहीं पता हो सकता है दो लोगों को एक साथ एक पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी दी गई करने के लिए एक मान गया जल्दी कर गया एक ने नहीं माना तो जो नहीं जो मान जाता है हम कहते हैं जब वो कर गया दूसरे को क्या परेशानी हो रही है और जिसको हो रहा है डेफिनेटली उसके लिए वो एक एक सब्जेक्टिव मान है उसके लिए शायद वो ज्यादा सीरियस चीज हो सकती है रैगिंग इज सब्जेक्टिव पीपल इंटरप्रेटेड डिफरेंटली एंड पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैव डिफरेंट थ्रेशोल्ड्स एक हर एक की लिमिट होती है सेकंड पॉइंट पढ़ना द रैगिंग एनवायरनमेंट इज वन व्हेन पीपल रेयरली फील एंपावर्ड टू इंपैक्ट चेंज और प्रोग्रेस क्या प्रॉब्लम होता है विक्टिम है उसके लिए कुछ पॉसिबल नहीं हो पा रहा वो वहां से बाहर जा पाए उसको फेस करना ही पड़ेगा उस डिपार्टमेंट में आके फंस गए और उसको कोई एस्केप का कोई निकलने का कोई तरीका नहीं मिल रहा और ज्यादातर ऐसा है रैगर जो रैग जो विक्टिम है वो सफर इसलिए कर रहा है क्योंकि उसको लगता है मैं जाऊं कहां जाऊं हॉस्टल में हो रहा है जैसे डेस कॉलर है वो तो रोज अपना घर जा रहा है कॉलेज जा रहा है हल्का है और जो हॉस्टल में है जो सीनियर है जिसने रैगिंग की है वो बदला लेगा उसके साथ क्यों क्योंकि उसकी बात नहीं मानी गई उसका वो जो पावर एक्सर्ट कर रहा था उस पर जो अपना एक रूल चलाने की कोशिश कर रहा था उसने हुक्म चलाने की कोशिश कर रहा था वो मानी नहीं गई तो कहीं ना कहीं हॉस्टल में उसे पूरा कर दिया तो वहाँ चीज़ें बहुत सीरियस हो जाती हैं जहाँ विक्टिम के लिए वहाँ से निकलना बहुत मुश्किल फील होता है ऐसा रिसर्च में देखा कि पीपल फेल लाइक दे नीडेड सोशल सपोर्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ अगर सोशल विद्रॉल 
phobia, there's so many things. Psychosis, last three points, ideas of reference. I feel like someone is talking about me, someone is talking about me, someone is talking about me, someone is talking about me. I feel like someone is talking about me. कोई कर भी नहीं रहा है, फिर भी लगता रहता है ऐसा। दूसरे जो हैं मेरे खिलाफ, कोई plan कर रहे हैं, complacency कर रहे हैं, hallucination, bullying और ragging एक बहुत consistent cause रहा है hallucinations के। आवाजें आने लगती हैं, जो जिसने bullying किया है, जिसने rag किया है, उसकी आवाजें आ रही हैं, ऐसा भी हो सकता है। काफी extreme cases में अगर आप psychiatric case जब बनता है, कोई भी victim, उस case में बहुत severely rag किया गया होता है, जिस वजह से psychotic As a student, आपके लिए जानना जरूरी है कि किस चीज़ को हम कैसे identify करें। कोई चीज़ आपको activity करने के लिए कहीं गई है और ये बहुत common prevalent activity है। अभी कुछ weeks पहले हमने अपने psychology department में इस चीज़ को identify किया। कुछ students ने आके complain किया कि ऐसा ऐसा उनको कहा जाता है। जैसे एक बहुत common trend होता है sir और madam बोलने का। Senior को sir बोलो, madam बोलो। शायद कुछ pressures को ये चीज काफ़ना एक सोचने का ढंग हो सकता है, पर उनको फोर्स किया जाता है। चेयर इधर लेकर आओ, चेयर पे कोई बैठे ना, सीनियर बैठे ना। अगर सीनियर आए रूम के अंदर, तो जूनियर को उठ जाना चाहिए चेयर से। इस तरह की जो सटल फॉर्म्स ऑफ रैगिंग हैं, जो हमने भी बात की थी, सटल रैगिंग, जो आईडेंटिफाई ह if you are a senior, you should be able to talk about your own words. You should be aggressive. He is also restricted. He can't kill you, 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 but he should be able to do some kind of thing, he should be able to do some kind of thing, he should be able to do some kind of activities. That is part of ragging also. He should report it. What is the activity? क्या वो एजुकेशनल एक्सपीरियंस है कोई एजुकेशन से रिलेशन है इन सब चीजों का क्या तुम्हारे लिए कॉलेज में आकर ये सीखना जरूरी है कि तुम्हें सीनियर्स के साथ कैसे ओबीडिएंट होना है नो सीनियर्स भी तुम्हारे को अगर ज्यादा एजुकेटेड है ज्यादा अगर तुमसे ज्यादा जानते हैं तो उन्हें तुम्हें नॉलेज देनी चाहिए तुम्हें गाइड करना चाहिए राधा तैन की तुम्हें अपने अधीन अपने नीचे रखने की उनको आदत पड़े विल दिस एक्टिविटी इंक्रीज द रिस्पेक्ट फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शायद ही कोई स्टूडेंट होगा जिसका इस तरह से बिहेव किया जा रहा है, रैगिंग की जा रही है इसकी, वो कहेगा कि मैं तो बहुत अच्छी इंस्टिट्यूट में पढ़ा। पढ़ाई एक तरफ अच्छी चल रही है, बट अगर उसको रैग किया जा रहा है, तो नहीं कहेगा कि मेरा एनवायरनमेंट अच्छा है। सबसे पहली कंप्लेंट जाएगी, जो बड़ी बन जाती हैं, उसको आईडेंटिफाई करना जरूरी है, ताकि वो आईडेंटिफाई हो और उसको दूर किया जा सके। Would you be willing to allow your parents or university officials to witness that activity? शायद अगर तुम तुम कहोगे, कहीं ना कहीं मन में आता होगा कि अगर मेरे पेरेंट्स देख लेते हैं तो उसको पता है, या अगर मेरे बेटे या दीदी देख लेते हैं तो पता है। मतलब ऐसी कुछ does the activity have value in and of itself? जरूरत की नहीं हो सकती वो activity। If you have to ask, if it is hazing, it probably is। मतलब माँग में वो सवाल आए कहीं नहीं रहेगी तो नहीं होगी। Definitely है, यानी कि तुमसे unjust तरीके से भी किया जाए। And if in doubt, call your faculty advisor, कोई भी जो तुम्हारा office, किसी भी department को तुम्हें इसको inform करना चाहिए कि regular squad committee जो बनी है। किसी को जो भी मेंबर हैं उनको हम रिपोर्ट कर सकते हो इस तरीके से कि अगर तुम्हारे साथ गंदा बिहेव किया जाए। How can we change this scenario? Foster unity मतलब कुछ ऐसी joint activities करनी जरूरी है। That is what we generally do। तो ऐसा जब हुआ जैसा मैं अभी बता रहा था, हमारे पार्टनर में हमने कुछ identify किए, कुछ seniors, third year seniors, bachelor, third year वाले, third year वाले, second, first year students को इसी तरह से ऑर्डर देते हैं ये कर दो ऐसा कर दो ऐसा कर दो नहीं कर रहे तो जूनियर्स परेशान हैं प्रेशर जो थे परेशान थे उनको नहीं पता हमारे साथ क्या हो रहा है और रिपोर्ट नहीं कर पा रहे जब कुछ स्टूडेंट्स ने आके कहा मेरे को और दूसरे फैकल्टीज थे कि ऐसा ऐसा हो रहा है तो उनको ये कहा कि तुम 
उसने हमें इन्फॉर्म क्यों नहीं किया हमारे साथ इक्वली फ्रेंडली है क्या तुम्हें लगता है हम थर्ड इसको फेवर कर रहे था या सेकंड इसको फेवर कर रहे था तो कहते हैं सर हमें लगता है कि वो आपके फेवरेट है मैंने कहा ऐसा कैसे लगा मैंने कहा जिस तरह से हम तुमसे क्लास लेते हैं इससे बात करते हैं ओपीडी में इतना टाइम लेते हैं तुमसे कैसे लग गया तुम्हें कहते नहीं सर हमसे पहले से तो हमें लगा शायद वो फेवरेट होंगे उनको लगा बट क्योंकि थर्ड स्टूडेंट है थोड़ा ज्यादा फ्रेंडली हो सकता है हमारे साथ ज्यादा ओपन हो सकता है सेकेंड ईयर वाला भी ओपन हो सकता है क्योंकि एक दो साल से पढ़ रहा है हमसे फर्स्ट ईयर वाला नया नया आया वो अपने को फंसा पाता है वो सोचता है सारी तो इनकी मानते हैं कोई भी एक्टिविटी को कुछ हो अगर कोई इनिशिएटिव लेना हो शायद थर्ड ईयर का कोई एक स्टूडेंट है जिसको हम आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं ये काम कर सकते हैं हमने उसको कहा तो फर्स्ट ईयर वाला सोचता है सारे फेवर्स तो यहीं पर मिलते हैं तो हमने उनको एक्सप्लेन किया कि फर्स्ट ईयर का कोई भी स्टूडेंट हो थर्ड ईयर का कोई भी स्टूडेंट हो सब इक्वल है उनके मन में ऐसा आ गया दो चार स्टूडेंट्स के साथ हुआ फिर वापस में उनको लगा कि शायद हम कहेंगे तो ये बाद में हमें परेशान करते सेकंड रीजन कि अगर हम अभी तो कह देते आपको शायद सर आप कुछ ना करते मैं आप कुछ ना करते पर बाद में शायद हमें परेशान करते सो व्हाट वी डिड हमने पूरा एक ग्रुप को बिठाया क्लास में सबको लाइक इन जनरल तो मैं यही कहूँगा हमने डाटा और सच में बहुत खिंचाई की थर्ड डेस्ट की उनको कहा उनको रियलाइज कराया कि उन्होंने क्या किया है छोटी छोटी हद तक उनको लग रहा है तो बहुत नॉर्मल सी है आज उनको परेशान करेंगे कल उनके साथ दोस्त भी बनेंगे तो उनको लगा हमने कुछ बुरा नहीं किया अपना गिल्ट दूर करने के लिए गलत तो कर दिया कल शायद मैंने उसको ज्यादा गाली दे दी चल आज मैं उसके साथ कैंसिंग चला जाता हूँ तो कहीं ना कहीं उसको ज्यादा बुरा ना लग जाए कल को मुझे कंप्लेन ना करते क्यों क्योंकि वो अपना गिल्ट दूर करना चाहता है ताकि वो आगे नजर में ना आ जाए बट वो बिहेवियर शायद बार बार कॉन्टिन्यू होगा तो काफी सारे ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं तो ये हमने किया काफी सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जो भी हमारे एक्टिविटीज हो रही थी कोई वर्कशॉप हो रहा था उसमें सीनियर्स और जूनियर्स को आपस में इन्वॉल्व किया ताकि वो एक जॉइंट एक्टिविटी करेंगे किसी तरह का कोई जॉइंट वेंचर होगा तो उनके मन में एक दूसरे के लिए एक थिंकिंग डेवलप होगी कि सामने वाला इंसान है कैसा वो इतना बुरा भी नहीं है शायद उसने कभी मजाक में कर भी दिया होगा ऐसा बट एक अंदर अंदर जो घुटन महसूस हो रही है फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट को वो नहीं होनी चाहिए work together on a community and class project work together to improve interpersonal context matlab mujhe bhi bahar jana ek bahut acha activity jo humne dekhi second year mein ek student tha jo bike pe jata tha wo first year student ko dekha ja raha tha aisi activities mein hum all ho rahe hain zaruri nahi hai ki hame sabke sath dosti karni hai do char log bhi jo hamare friends ho sakte hain we can develop good relations with them work together to plan a social or sporting event aksar main facebook pe dekhta hu third year ka student first year ka student ke jin mein gaya तो ऐसा एक्टिविटीज तुम लोग कर सकते हो कर भी रहे हो गए कल ज्वाइंट एक्टिविटीज तुम कर सकते हो सेंस ऑफ मेंबरशिप सेंस ऑफ मेंबरशिप जैसे कहीं मूवी दिखाने लगे कहीं आउटिंग के लिए ले गए कहीं ट्रिप लगाए अभी हमारी नेक्स्ट मंथ एक ट्रिप जा रही है जयपुर जिसमें हमारा यही पर्पस है कि सारे फर्स्ट ईयर और थर्ड ईयर सेकंड ईयर जितने भी स्टूडेंट हैं सब आपस में मिले दूसरे के साथ थोड़ा टाइम स्पेंड करें जो टीचर हो गया सीनियर टीचर का पढ़ना जरूरी है साथ हमने ऐसा देखा फर्स्ट ईयर का स्टूडेंट ज्यादा अच्छा व्यू पॉइंट दे रहा है थर्ड ईयर के स्टूडेंट क्योंकि कोई जनरल टॉपिक पे किसी का भी ओपिनियन मैटर कर सकता है उसमें थर्ड ईयर को स्पेशल नॉलेज रखता है जैसे आज इनवाइट स्पीकर्स टेस्ट टेकिंग या हमारे कोई भी सेमिनार ऑर्गेनाइज किए जा सकते हैं जिससे कि एक कॉमन टॉपिक्स के ऊपर सबके व्यूज एक्सप्रेस कराए जाए उनसे डिस्कस किया जाए उनको पता चले कि क्या कॉमन थिंग्स हो सकती हैं जो हमारे लिए और सभी के लिए जरूरी है एज अ स्टूडेंट बिकॉज फर्स्ट यू आर अ स्टूडेंट एंड देन यू आर अ सीनियर और जूनियर responsibilities in the day to council of india there are elections soon and sir was you know very gracious to have accepted our invitation today thank you so much sir uh thanks are also due to the worthy speakers of the day uh, professor akshay bhagwa who started 
the session and then Dr. Tarun and finally uh, the speaker par excellence, uh, Professor Shanta Kumar. He is actually more of a dental faculty than a law faculty, sir is so much involved with all of us. Of course, uh, thanks to all the other CA staff members, Dr. Shakti, uh, Dr. All the other dental faculty, and of course, uh, all, all my dear students. Thank you so much for being here today, and I, I hope you learnt, you know, many, uh, many things, many important things about what not to do. That is very important. Thank you very much once again. Have a wonderful day. departments, professors, and my dear students of the Faculty of Dental Sciences at Zeta University. You have heard a lot about uh, the anti-ragging provisions, the psychological impact. You had a very exhaustive talk on it. In fact, when uh, Dr. Shetty came and uh, discussed with me and he said, Sir, I want you to talk something about anti-rocking uh, law, the legal provisions to the dental students. I said, is it necessary for them? I know that uh, the dental students are the best in this university. Yes. So I'll be just talking for a few minutes about the zero tolerance policy of the SGT University on ragging. Absolutely all of you know that we do not tolerate any such incident happening in our campus. And you had various uh, forms of uh, ragging explained. I am going to give you the legal definition, how the Supreme Court defined it, how the University Grants Commission defined it, how the Dental Council has defined it. And uh, since we are in Haryana, the Haryana government has also come out with a law on uh, ragging. And uh, I am just going to take a uh, few minutes explaining you the definition of ragging. And uh, I just want to briefly highlight on uh, when it becomes a punishable act, when ragging becomes punishable. What are the punishments that are prescribed in the law? And then uh, I will leave the house open for any discussions. So this is what I intend to do in the next few minutes. As I told you that our university is a ragging free campus. You are the wonderful students of this university. It's, it's an offense punishable under the law. And therefore, you need to know that something is bad. So ragging is strictly prohibited. Now coming to the definition how law defines ragging as. Ragging is any conduct. So this conduct may be <coughs> in the form of words or in the form of an act. You speak or you write or you do anything. So I think it's a very exhaustive definition. But one thing that, uh, you know, uh, from a lawyer's point of view, I need to explain one important thing, why I have why I have uh, colored the, the word includes differently. The word, if, if, if any definition starts with the word includes, it means the court will consider it as an inclusive definition, not an exhaustive definition, which means whatever is listed here are just examples and this definition can be further open for interpretation. Anything which is not mentioned here also can be brought under the offense of ragging. So you, you cannot say that, uh, no, whatever I did does not come within this list. So that is one word of caution that any definition, if it starts with the word includes, which means you can keep on including in it any other act which will have the, the, the consequences. So it is any conduct, whether words or by an act, 
And what is important is the effect. The conduct of yours must have an effect on the other person in any of these forms, harassing, teasing, treating or handling with rudeness, indulging in uh, rowdy or undisciplined activities, and which causes or is likely to cause annoyance. So it's a very wide term used, annoyance. What is annoyance? If you just frown at something, if you don't like anything, it amounts to annoyance. So it, actually what is required is there is no requirement of harm or injury. If you are making somebody frown, if you, if you do something which somebody dislikes, it constitutes ragging as per the law. Or to raise fear or apprehension of, even a fear is not required, an apprehension that a fear might arise, that is also sufficient. And especially asking the students to do, which such student will not do in the ordinary course. Very classic example we have been saying in many movies, that you know, old movies. Now there are instructions even to the producers that not to include scenes of ragging in movies. But older movies you can see that you know, students will be asked to swim on the floor without water. <laughs> So such is, that, that is what, which, which such students will not do in the ordinary course. If you ask him to do something which he will not do in the ordinary course, then that amounts to ragging. And which has the effect of causing or generating a sense of shame or embarrassment or so as to adversely affect the psyche of the student. Now coming to the punishable ingredients of ragging. ragging so not only the person who rags is punishable, is, will be punished, but also those persons who abet the crime. Abetter is any person who helps the other person to a, uh, commit the crime. So an abetment to ragging is also equally punishable, the same punishment. It's not that, uh, sir, I just gave him the stick and he was only beating. <laughs> I was not beating. I, my only thing was that I just passed on the stick to him. You have abetted to the crime and therefore you will be liable for it. Criminal conspiracy to rag. Conspiracy is something is all about uh, what is happening in your head. The idea to rag. Even if you have an idea to rag, for example, a fifth year student or a fourth year student sitting in the mess calling a second year student and say, those first year students are there, you know, why are you not ragging nowadays? <laughs> when we were there as second year students, we used to do, why are you not doing it? So why don't you do it? The second year fellow, nowadays ragging is prohibited, nobody is doing ragging and therefore the second year fellow does not know what is ragging. And he tells him that how to do, what to do. So that is conspiracy. Right? So the people planning for aiding or abetting or, or committing this thing is ragging and unlawful assembly. This is again defined in law as a group of five people, right? Four or more. For example, four or more persons standing there. You cannot take a defense that, sir, only that girl was doing, we were all just standing there and watching. That becomes, you become a part of that unlawful assembly. So this makes you, this makes it very clear that even if something is happening, you can't be a silent spectator there. You will become a part of the unlawful assembly. And again, the, the, the fourth one is causing public nuisance. And the important ingredients of nuisance is annoyance. If somebody uh, frowns, somebody dislikes, then it's, it becomes nuisance. Violent, violation of decency and morals, injury to body, causing hurt, grievous hurt, wrongful restraint, you know what is the meaning of wrongful restraint? Confining a person into, uh, or you, you prevent somebody from moving in a particular direction. That is wrongful restraint. You, you say, for example, your building has a lift and you want the first year students to use the 
Stairs. Stairs. Say that you know the lifts are meant for only from students from second year on. <laughs> you guys have just joined this university, you want to use a lift? No, no. Walk down the stairs. Climb up the stairs. That's a wrong restraint. Whatever facility is there, that facility should be available for everybody. Similarly, you cannot prevent them from moving in a particular direction. That is wrongful restraint. A wrongful confinement is confining them to a particular place. Locking them inside. <coughs> hey, you guys should not come out of this classroom. Wrongful confinement. I do not know how many of you are wrongfully confined in this auditorium to listen to this. <laughs> I think your teachers must have told you that don't go out, otherwise you will miss your address. <laughs> so that is wrongful confinement. Right? Use of criminal force, I need not explain. Assault, as well as sexual offenses, or even unnatural offenses. Extortion. Extortion is a serious crime which involves money. As I told you, you, know, you are all wonderful students of the SGT University, you do not know the meaning of extortion in the form of ragging. What generally happens is senior students will threaten the junior students to give money. Give money, money to them. <laughs>
it's a very serious crime nowadays. But that's the, that's the law says. And the suspension for at least a period of two semesters or one annual academic year. So suspension is not for seven days, two weeks. Now the law has prescribed the suspension period. Previously, the discretion was with the heads of departments. We will say that, okay, this is a subtle harassment, you know, okay, this boy will reform. Let me suspend him for 10 days, 15 days. But now the law requires that I can't give anything less than one year suspension. <coughs> so this is the requirement of Haryana. So take it very seriously. Uh, and uh, these are the other things what the Honorable Chief Guest, uh, uh, Mr. Vivek Kumar Singh was uh, suggesting that uh, withholding scholarship, debarring from appearing in any test, withholding the results. Uh, you cannot represent the institution anywhere. Uh, suspension or expulsion from the hostel, cancellation of admission, rustication from the institution for a period <coughs> ranging from one to four semesters. So that was the dental council and the UGC regulation. What is the red is Haryana. Now Haryana's so government says, rusticate them for three years. And it also says that Consequently, you cannot also join any other institution for next three years. And the fine, the Honorable Chief just mentioned that its minimum is 25,000. I can't give you a fine of 24,500. Right? So the fine amount of minimum is 25,000, maximum is 1 lakh. So within that range lies our discretion and plainness do not uh, put us in this kind of a situation where we ask all these things. And uh, more importantly is this new thing called collective punishment. <coughs> For example, the student, we, we could not find out who actually has committed the offense. For example, in a class, all the seniors stand united and they say that, uh, no, let's stand united and let's not uh, tell who has done this. No worries. So the law can handle all of you collectively. Right? So this is the collective punishment prescribed and the persons committing or abetting the crime are not identified, the institution <coughs> shall resort to collective punishment and this is the UGC uh, mandate. So whatever punishment we need to give, we will have to give it to the entire group as such. So these are, uh, it, it's becoming very serious. Right? And uh, that's what I just wanted to tell all of you. That it's, it's a crime, it's a serious crime. Uh, and again, uh, you, you cannot take all the benefits of being a journal, right? Whatever is happening in Delhi, you have been following it in the newspapers. So that benefit is not available for ragging, right? So you can rape and come out in three years, but you cannot rag and come out in three years. Right? So it's a very serious uh, uh, offence and that is the point that I wish to drive home today. And more interestingly, nowadays, you know, seniors are, juniors have become very smart. Don't play with them, don't, uh, you know, don't uh, interfere with them. Uh, as uh, 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 Dean uh, Dr. Akshay was mentioning, that uh, nowadays even in schools the violence has stopped. Teachers can't beat students. Even teachers can't beat students. Forget about seniors. Right? And the juniors, youngsters are now a lot of, uh, they, they are very well aware of all these things. So, one day, uh, the, my, my son is, uh, when he was in fifth standard, the principal called me. Can you please come to the school immediately? I want to talk to you about this. Sir. I said, Okay, I thought that he must have involved in some big thing, so I went rushed there. So the principal said that, uh, you know what happened? Your son was threatening the teacher. <laughs> I said, I never did it in my life. But why is this fellow doing? And where is this DNA from? <laughs>